Hello, and welcome back to another episode. It has, once again, been a little while since I last sat down in front of a camera to record something for this YouTube channel, but events, dear boy, events. Life happened, and uh, I had to deal with some things around the house, some things with vehicles, uh, but also as well, uh, my lovely wife, Mrs. Soup, is, uh, is unwell. She's been off work with stress for the past couple of weeks, uh, which isn't uncommon in her profession, in her line of work. And thankfully, she's been reassured about this by uh, the people who are there to help. So occupational health and, and talking uh, therapy and this kind of thing at the hospital where she works have said, yeah, you're not alone. A lot of people are feeling like this. It's, it's burnout. And uh, with that has come uh, an acknowledgement that I was a little bit burnt out myself. And so we've both been slowing down a bit, focusing on what's important, and hence uh, I am now here, finally, uh, because you are important, you find folks who watch these these videos, uh, to, to, uh, to, to share with you the first of a few updates, a few things which have come into my life that I've found or have otherwise been given that have thrilled me. Uh, and uh, the first of those things is actually uh, an update on my fork. Now you may recall a little while ago, I shared with you my favorite fork. This is this fork has been with me for basically my entire life. Uh, I was drawn to it because it was just a beautiful fork. And uh, little did I know, this fork was actually my father's favorite fork as well. He nicked it from hospital, uh, as he says on it, hospital property. And, uh, <laughs> and before I even knew it was his, I was already going, I love the fork, I want to, to eat with this fork. And uh, I did. When I was a child, I ate with it almost all the time, and I still eat with it as often as is practicable. I don't take the fork with me to other people's houses, though. I do, though, enjoy this fork. It's a wonderful, well-balanced piece of uh, cutlery. It's a fantastic utensil, and I adore it. Now, in that previous video, I also shared with you the fact that there's a family friend happened to have the matching spoon. It is the same uh, sort of neck tapering, sort of same um, shape going down to the bowl or to the prongs. And it even has the same hospital property stamp on the back of the spoon, actually, as opposed to the front of the fork. But regardless, they are both uh, from the same set. Uh, and that was thrilling. Now, this isn't the spoon that was my friend's. Rather, I happened to find, knowing that that spoon existed, I happened to find this spoon in a, uh, a bric-a-brac store. I don't, think, I don't think it was a charity shop. It was in a sort of an antiques place in a, a, a drawer filled with, with uh, silverware and, um, and stainless steel implements. I found the spoon. So the spoon and the fork. Ah, but what about the knife? I ended that last video on that question. Does anyone know where the knife might be? And every now and then, I I went looking online. I'd go to eBay, I'd go to the Facebook marketplace, I'd go anywhere I could to try and find the hospital property knife. Now, it turns out that, that these things aren't entirely unique. Different uh, uh, NHS trusts, different regions, in particular in England, would have different cutlery made for their particular trust, typically stamped with hospital property in some way. And so, dear reader, I have found a knife. Well, actually, I found two knives, and they're almost perfect. Almost perfect. Uh, these knives, knife number one and knife number two, are subtly different, actually, from each other. In fact, I think I prefer this one in terms of how it goes with the other the other cutlery. Uh, but they are, in fact, both also stamped hospital property. Now, they're not stamped in the same way as the other cutlery. The other cutlery is molded, so the hospital property uh, rises proud of the metal. In this instance, it's literally uh, a stamp. It's a, it's a molding that goes into the metal and um, I suppose, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's not sculptural in that sense. It's actually more like an actual stamp. But still, hospital property knives. And I count this as a win. I count this actually as my mission basically being over. I mean, I'm, 
when 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 I finally received these in the post, uh, I I showed them to a couple of people, and they were like, "What about the teaspoon? Surely you need a teaspoon now." But uh, I don't know. I don't often use a teaspoon. Well, I do, actually, I do use the teaspoons for things like yogurt and stuff like that. No, I don't need it. I don't need a teaspoon. I think a knife, a spoon, and a fork are plenty to be getting on with. They also said, well, now you've got two knives. Surely you need to get two forks and two spoons. I was like, no, no, <laughs> stop. I, I, need, I, need to, I need to find peace in some capacity. So, so that's what we've ended up doing. Oh, I've ended up doing it. I've decided that the, I've, I've now completed my quest. Fork, spoon, and knife, plus an extra knife if I'm feeling a bit fruity. Um, maybe one for um, one for spreading butter, one for eating with. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I'm, I'm very actually. This is kind of more like a butter knife sort of shape in terms of the taper of the blade. This one, interesting. Um, but anyway, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm happy. I can almost, almost feel myself attaining some sort of spiritual peace not quite but but almost <laughs> so uh yeah i just really wanted to to get back on 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 uh on this youtube channel and back in the habit of making videos and i wanted to start by sharing with you an update for my quest for this cutlery if i happen to find the perfect hospital property knife with the uh with the um hospital property uh, as i say more sculptural than stamped naturally i'll buy that and naturally i'll be even more thrilled in fact i might even at that point attain spiritual peace however <laughs> for now this is this is damned close and, uh, and i'm very very happy to to have a you know a full eating set which is hospital property Sheffield stainless steel fantastic um I don't, I don't I don't know if this is what you were expecting in terms of me coming back um but but that's that, that's 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 what you've got uh, I I do want to in the coming weeks talk to you about uh the um the acquisition of a couple of wonderful items uh, uh some some fantastic legacy toys that have come into my life and have um equally thrilled me in fact but uh actually the other thing i wanted to talk to talk to you about or to share with you in an upcoming video is uh <sighs> lightsaber 2.0 yeah i have uh taken my original design for the lightsaber and applied it to a ne neo-pixel style lightsaber blade. Uh, it's it actually, when you push the, the gorgeous purple button, yeah, makes noise inside. It's got a blade that I can attach. In fact, let me just, uh, just go and get that blade. Just a second. And we're back. Yes! It's so bright even on uh, a sunny day with all the lights on it still lights up the room so um yeah i want to talk about this how i made it the decisions i made around it and crucially how it is uh, a refinement of the, that that first lightsaber design i am very happy uh, but that will have to wait until should we say next week certainly the next video i make uh Thank you guys so much for watching these and for uh, for hanging around and for waiting on me while life happens. Uh, I I try not to. I've always said it. I try not to let this channel become a job or become a chore. I already have a YouTube channel, uh, archaeology and education focused, called Archaeo Soup. That is a job. I try not to let that become a chore. But in this is an instance, I, uh, as much as I struggle, uh, and people on Discord have been very, very vocal with saying, do not struggle with with uh, your your schedule on Soup's Eye View. You publish when you publish. That is not a job. Uh, still, obviously, you know, I just I like I like to be regular. I like to be punctual. So it has been on on my mind. But I'm I'm happy to be back. And also, I always say this: I want to be streaming more regularly, Lily, uh, and uh, and hopefully we can achieve that as well in the in the not too distant future. 
But crucially, I, uh, I need to not uh, be too hard on myself, don't I? Anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's great to be back. I'm so happy about the knives and, uh, and the lightsaber. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I really do. I'm very pleased with all the little details and how it's come together. But that will have to come next time. Until next time, guys, thanks again for watching. Do take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>